Storehouse. I hope y'all are doing well, uh, and I hope you've had a, a good start to your week. Uh, this is your weekly update video. Uh, I only have two things for you this week, so I'll try to make it quick, and I'll, I'll jump right in. The first one is um, uh, next week I'm going to be providing you with a, a giving update. As we close out the month of April, Julie, who is our finance director, Julie and I, uh, we're really interested to see how we would finish the month. We were predicting that this would be the month that we, as a, as a church family, would be the most affected. Uh, and so even though we've been able to bless families, even though we've been able to um, pay our bills, we wanted to see how we were going to close the month of April off and so um, or close it out. And so next week, I'm going to give you an update on our giving and um, let you know kind of where we're at and where we stand uh, as we walk into the remainder of this season or the rest of this season, particularly the summer. So um, stay posted or stay tuned for that. Uh, the second thing that I have for you is you guys are seeing this video, I think Tuesday morning, and uh, I'm shooting it on Monday afternoon. So about two hours ago, um, Governor Abbott released an update on his executive order that takes effect uh, or that goes into effect on Friday, May 1st. And within that executive order, um, he uh, explains a little bit about what it's going to look like or how it's going to look like for churches. And so there's a lot of protocols and procedures <clears throat> as uh, I suppose as the, the rest of the state opens up. With that being said, I had a couple of things to share with you all on that. Number one, um, we have been uh, expecting uh, the governor's executive order uh, through a series of uh, conversations with other pastors, both here in McAllen and even within our church planning network. And so we've already begun to uh, think through a couple of things that uh, we're going to have to move forward on, um, but we're still not uh, at a place where we have a final plan. Uh, we still have a couple more meetings this week to see what it's going to look like for us in particular to phase back in to Sunday mornings. Um, but as soon as we have a plan, um, I'll, I'll let you guys know next week. I'm going to give you a little bit more detail on what it's going to look like for us for sure. In addition to that, uh, his executive order has a lot of protocols, a lot of policy and procedures for churches and organizations. And so there's a lot of things that we need to take into consideration, um, not only because our priority is your safety, but in addition to that, because we meet in a shared space, there's some things that we need to take into consideration um, as we look to, again, phase back into our, our gatherings. With that being said, as of right now, um, we will continue to gather online on Sundays at 1030. And as far as our smaller gatherings like missional communities and discipleship groups, those will continue to meet online through Zoom and other creative avenues uh, for the time being. Again, as we roll out our plan, um, uh, I'm going to let you guys know uh, so that you're aware of what we're doing, why we're doing it, where we're headed, how you can be a part of it or how you're going to be a part of it and how you can help us implement some of these new things. Um, again, all of that being said, those are the two things that I have, right? The the update on Governor Abbott's executive order and finances, all of those will be elaborate. Both of those are going to be elaborated and expanded upon next week. That's what makes this week such a short video. Nevertheless, that's all I have for you guys this week. Um, I'm trying to look at my time, see where I'm at. So I'm going into about four minutes. So that's all I have for you. Guys, I love you. I miss you. I miss our Sundays. I miss gathering in, in for like our, our MC on Friday nights. So I miss that time. Um, so anyway, all that being said, that's all I have for you guys. I love you. I will hopefully see you throughout the week. And uh, if you guys have any questions, shoot me an email. Let me know how I can help. Love y'all.